to right to your point, this is kind of really spooky in a way. My daughter, I found the tape. And as a, as a matter of fact, we on the tape it said baby's music because we didn't really even know have a name for her yet. Her name is Victoria, but we didn't have a name for her at this time. I found the tape. Well, she's only 15, she's going to be 16. But I found the tape and it was in my armoire for 16 years. I gave her the tape a couple of weeks ago and she hasn't heard it since she was in the womb. The tape's been away for 16 years. I played the tape, I gave her an old Walkman, a Sony Walkman, gave her the tape, she went in her room, she came downstairs and said to me, Daddy, this is going to be a little weird. She goes, I knew every single thing that was coming before it came. I knew exactly, she says, I could hum, it. She says, I could hum the notes before, before they came. She says, I knew what was coming. And, and I swear to God that that's because that's what happened inside the womb. My wife played it every single night religiously. And like I said, it's amazing. And funny that you say that about Henny Youngman. My daughter's favorite drummer is Gene Krupa. She loves Gene Krupa. So she loves to go back and watch footage of Gene Krupa. She, you know, Buddy Rich, all that stuff. But she loves Krupa because he had such a spirit about him, like a happy guy and dancing, and you know, he's a really and and she she loves John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. So, but it's it's amazing, isn't it? Like how you say, I agree with you. The talent is in the brain. It's in the ears, in the brain, and then flows. Just you have to flows. have that flow. If, you can, right. if, if it doesn't flow through the hands, right. Right. I saw her working with her hands one right. evening, watching because we had lost touch with each other for about 20 years. And the first time we were together, really, with her grandma and grandmother in Florida, I was watching as we were speaking, and it's the first time I'd been with her as an adult. And I sat and watched as, as she was sitting on the car there talking. I could see the hands. I said, oh, this, she's got it. Right. There's something about this flow. So I knew that she was a musician. Uh, it, again, it's one thing to be able to keep time. Right. Uh, listening to music, but you have to, be, to, in order to play it, it has to have that natural flow. Well, your, your other daughter is a chill. Let's, let's give your other daughter a little mention here. Uh, yeah. Your other daughter is? My other daughter is Samantha. And Samantha is an extraordinary athlete. She's super strong. She's she's eight years old. She just turned eight, but she's a super powerful kid. Very strong. She's a softball pitcher. She's been pitching softball since she's three, because she used to watch her older sister play softball with her girlfriends, and she just wanted to be better than them. At the age of three, she had it in her head that she's she's not going to be just like them. She's going to be better. So she strives and strives, and now she's eight, and she's a she's a hell of a pitcher. Softball like. Like I said, she's very fast, so she's looking like she wants to do track. So, and she's excellent with piano. She loves to, again, she with the ears, she hears, and she she doesn't read. She hasn't been taught by anybody, but she, because somebody just gave us a baby grand piano. So, my daughter sits behind it, and she just, bing, bingo, just plays the piano like, it, it, just amazing. Wow. So, you know. And actually, too, if people want to see my my daughter Victoria, the older one, play the drums, she's on uh, YouTube, and you just put in Victoria Brennan, just Victoria Brennan, B R E N N A N, and you can actually see her doing. She's in the fifth grade at her fifth grade talent show, and she's doing Wipeout. And it's it's actually very cool. She's this cute little kid, and she's just nailing it. Where does this come from, John? I mean, uh, are you a musician? Are you a, a, a athlete? Where? What about your wife, the, uh, their mom? Where does this come from? Is this like with my father to my daughter? Right. Where Where does this ability come from? Do you think? You know, I. I, I guess it, it's it's so they do voices as well. I don't yeah, they're know. both my both my girls' sense of humor drives my my wife nuts. She says, you know, these daughters, that you know, they're your daughters. She says they're out of their freaking minds because yeah. yeah, my little one, the eight year old, is constantly pranking and constantly doing things to drive people nuts. She loves to get a rise out of people, and my older one's like sweet as pie. She's just the biggest heart, the biggest smile, sunshine, the sweetest girl you ever want. But she too has a little side to her where she's hysterical. She can be a, a jokester herself. A prankster, right. but okay, so how does it? How does, where does it come from? Getting back to that. So I think I think it's I think somewhat it has to be somewhat genetic because you know they grow up. You know it is what it is. You know you, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? right. You know it's it's got to be somewhat genetic. Are you a musician? Are you I, a ball I, player? I do. You? I play. I play. I play guitar. Okay. I play drums. You know I can I can pretty much you know play bass guitar. I, I pretty much put, you know mess around with, with it all, but. You know, it, it, that stuff came, 
it's almost like a gift that you've been you've been given. When I first started playing guitar, it just came so easy to me. I remember being I was only playing the guitar for about a not even a year, a year, and I was able to do Eddie Van Halen's Eruption. And 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 I'm I'm not talking about the, the end of this. I'm talking about the whole solo. And people couldn't believe that I was only playing for that short amount of time. But it was just it, it, it just came very easy to me, and I, but the, here's the bad part, I was very lazy. I didn't want to learn how to read, I didn't want to read, I didn't want to read guitar, I didn't want to read drums, I just wanted to play. And that's, to this day, that's kind of how I am. It's not, probably not a great idea, but, you know, I can play the drums, I can play the guitar, and, and I enjoy it, you know? Now, your children, I'm sure, do you, do you allow them to watch Family Guy, eight years old and seven years old? I, at one point, are they able to watch Family Guy? I mean, do, do you kind of put the brakes on a little bit? How do you, because it is an adult, there are adult things of it. How do you, how do you handle it with your children? Absolutely. Um, with the the youngest, obviously, no. There's certain things, you know. There, if if there's a scene coming up that I know that I've done, and it's going to be a, it's 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 pretty innocuous. It's not, you know, or it's just funny. I'll I'll let her in for that particular thing, and then she's got to, you know, that she's got to go. You could come in, you know. But and the older one now, she's getting of age where she kind of. These kids are smart now. They're 16 years old. You can't, you know, shelter them forever, you know. But growing up, as they grew up, yeah, there's certain things that absolutely are not appropriate for kids, you know. So that it's something that goes down in my house. My wife is very strict like that, you know. And as they get older, you give a little more. You give a little more, you know, as they get wiser. Are you their favorite fun guy? I mean, uh, are you the favorite fun guy? You are know, you a guy that that? Are you the, the voice? Of the, did they say, "Oh, Daddy, do this voice," or "Daddy, do that voice"? Are you uh, are you kind of on for them all the time? Are you are you their favorite entertainment? Well, you know what? Because they live with me and they've grown up with me. They're tired of it. Uh, yeah, to them, like all the kids in my daughter's high school, there's like three, four thousand kids, right? And all the kids know that her dad does Family Guy. He does Mort Goldman and all these different voices, and he does the Jerky Boys. So they, my daughter's like all day. She's like, Dad, you know, they, you know, they all, you know, and, and I, and I say, isn't that cool? And she says, Dad, I live with you. And so her attitude is, and I said, well, how are you supposed to be, like, you know, I'm trying to get a rise out of her. And she's like, Dad, I hear it 24-7 with you. And, and, and they, you know, funny enough, they'll do it, too. They'll break chops. They do voices. So them growing up with it, you know, they always said it as they're young. Daddy's my favorite. But, you know, my, my oldest is a big big fan. Her favorite is Jim Carrey. She loves Jim Carrey. And, and, and the girl, you know, the girl, they're, they're going to, you know, because I live with them. I'm dad. So to them, it's yeah, just, no big deal. it's natural, right? You know, no big deal. Yeah, that's just dad. Okay, give some uh, give some websites and any contact information because uh, we're at fifty minutes and some odd we're we're running we're running out of time here. Uh, give some contact information and that sort of thing. Sure. Once again, you could check out thejerkyboys.com. T H E jerkyboys.com. Thejerkyboys.com. Or you can uh, go to and that of course is J E R K Y. Yep. J Not I E, but J E R K Y B O Y S. Yep. That's it. And uh, the jerkyboys.com, or you can uh, Twitter. It's uh, Johnny Boy, uh, Jerky Boys Johnny. I'm sorry, Jerky Boys Johnny at Is there Twitter. A slash there. No, it's just Jerky Boys Johnny at Twitter. And um, what else? You know, just I would just like to give a big shout out, a big thanks to the fans. You know, um, you know, after all these years, and it's amazing. And you see YouTube, and things are just they're just new generations are finding about the Jerky Boys and. And, and the kids are coming up to me, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, these new generations, and they're saying, man, it's the funniest thing I ever heard. And going back on the map again, and, and it's, it's just an amazing, amazing thing to be able to make people laugh. Right. Uh, early on, before we started the interview, I was asking you if you know a Susan Powell. She said, maybe you don't, but perhaps the gentleman, uh, the person working with you who is sending the tapes around, uh, she worked with ABC, Susan Pallets. Uh, so she, that how is how she may have gotten hold of one of your uh, tapes. Uh, this was in the mid 80s. And, and I would come up uh, to her apartment. Uh, she lives in the Ground Zero area, but she's gone down in Boca Raton. And she played this tape for me one night. These phone calls of Pizzeria or something. Yep, was that's going it. On yeah, it. that's us. And I just roared. She had yeah. some of the great stuff. And and then, of course, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that cut you're talking about right now is called the, the Jerky Boys. It's called Terrorist Pizza. And we were doing terrorist stuff. It was a pizzeria. That, the terrorist Pizza pizza we were doing muslim terrorist stuff way before it was even chic to do it so if you want chic? yeah you want to go out you go out and look you go out and you look at uh, uh uh youtube and look up jerky boys terrorist pizza 
And that's the one I heard. Johnny, Brendan, Wood, Goldman, Jerky Boys, all the gay guys. Uh, it, it's been it's been great hanging with you for this past uh, 52 some odd minutes. Thank Th you, sir. Thank you, Herb. I really appreciate it. Great show, and a big uh, once again a big shout out to all the Jerky Boys fans and the Family Guy fans. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, okay, you've been listening to New York City Visions. I'm your host and uh, a fellow New Yorker for the past 53 minutes or so. Uh, thanks for tuning in at AudiobookRadio.net and hopefully WVNJ as well. Uh, talk to you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.